Hi, buddies and girls. Oh, we are back with another video. And today's video, we are talking about my favorite concealers. Now, I know I came with my favorite color correctors, but I think I want to kind of separate it now and talk about my favorite ones from the drugstore. And then I'll talk about my high end favorites. So I'm kind of showing you my makeup stash, but not really, but I'm showing you my top five favorites. I've already talked about my top five favorites in the past. I think I did this kind of like two years ago, but I think that it's due for a update. And I also did my top five of hair. And y'all know I love talking about hair on my channel, but I also love beauty. And so I'm not going to put myself in a box and limit myself as to what we talk about or chit chat. It's just beauty in general, because we will be talking about fashion and also lifestyle favorites. So let's just hop in with my top five favorite concealers from the drugstore. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start off with the oldest. I just picked up a redo of this. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have it in the shade medium. Sometimes I do get neutralizer. This is such an amazing concealer that works kind of like as a high end. Before there was Tarte Shape Tape or the Urban Decay Naked Skin, there was the Age Rewind. I absolutely love this. It is full coverage. And as a matter of fact, I will tell you every single one that I'm going to talk about today is full coverage. This is absolutely amazing. If you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. The other reason why I love this is because it does dry down kind of like to a powder finish, although it is a liquid kind of creamy. It actually has a mousse texture, but I really, really do enjoy it. And it's probably one of my most purchased concealers as well. So I really, I've gone through, I think two of the, these, this is probably my third, which when it comes to concealer, that says a lot. So I absolutely love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Another OG that I love that works like a high end. And as a matter of fact, all of these pretty much, um, I've done, I think dupes videos, except maybe two or three, wait, two of these in a dupes video, but I really do enjoy this. This is the NYX HD concealer. A lot of people say that this is a dupe to the naked skin and I can see where they're coming from with that. Although I think this is a little bit different in terms of the texture. I feel like it being lightweight and still getting a full coverage look is what people are talking about when they say this. This is in the shade CW07. I do get this in a couple of different shades just because of the undertone that's in it. This one has more of a yellow undertone, but I also love NYX puts CW, that means concealer wand, and then they put the number 07, 06, and this one is in tan. So I use this one to color correct, but then I will go in, do I have my other one here? No. I'm trying to use up concealers, y'all. But I have like three or four of these in different shades that are still unopened. I, this is like a concealer that I definitely would get a backup of and get it in different shades just because of the finish. I absolutely love this. And this is one that I would constantly purchase and reach for. I'm kind of going by oldest to youngest. I guess. This is my third baby. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in Pure Beige. This is one that I will get in other shades as well, just because I love to highlight, contour, color correct. They do have an orange. I want to get the peach color corrector. See how I like that. The orange one is a little bit too much for me, but I can, if I use a little bit and then go in with a yellow, that's you know, LA Girl, I love because you can like mix shades, but this is high coverage. I did do a dupes video and this reminds me of, I can't remember what this reminded me of. Maybe the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, maybe that, but this is definitely a low end product. I think this is the least expensive of all three being like $2.99, like $3. And I really do enjoy this. You can pick this up now from Ulta. I really do enjoy that I can get this because before I would have to go to a beauty supply store and all beauty supply stores, if they were smart, they would carry this. But most of, um, a lot of them, a lot of them do, but some of them don't. So I'm glad that I can pick this up from Ulta now. And I love this concealer. I highly recommend. The best part about it is unlike some of the others, this has a brush tip. So you can actually clean up your brows as well as go in and just apply it straight to your 
face a lot of people say this is unsanitary but to me you should be putting this on a clean face anyway so this really does not matter because all the other ones are wands anyway and what's the difference between the brush and the wand i don't know but yeah the next one this one i think i've done a dupes video on too this is the I was going to say Mac, but no, that's the dupe. This is the Revlon Photo Ready. I love the Photo Ready line. I just tend to gravitate towards that line of Revlon. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium 004. I really do enjoy this. I love it because of how creamy it is. You can apply it. This reminds me a lot of the Mac Studio Finish Concealer that has the SPF in it. This is very, very creamy and emollient. So if you have oily under eye, which I have dry, so this is perfect for me. It's still high coverage and it's easy. It's like a stick concealer, so it's really great. I wish that they had darker shades than this though, because this is medium, I think they have a dark, but I can even use the dark as a color corrector, but I wish they had it in a darker shade because this would be so easy to contour with if it came in a deeper shade and I would have really loved that. But uh, to me, Revlon sometimes is so limited with their concealer range and they only do six or seven. So uh, Revlon, come on. Come up with some more shades, but I love this. And lastly, this is the Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Now I have been loving Photo Focus. I love their foundation. I love their powder. And now I really love their concealer. Now I've heard that this is a dupe to the, um, to the shape tape. That's what it is. This is a dupe I've heard to the shape tape. I have not compared the two, although I have the shape tape like right over here. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. See for myself. You know, this is in the shade medium peach. I do like the undertones that they have in the wet and wild. Some of them are have a pink undertone, which I could totally color correct with. And then they have the ones with the yellow. This says medium peach. I love that it tells you in the name what kind of undertone you're going to get. So I love that. I do, I think, have a yellow one. And this is one that I would have backups with. I know some people say that they don't like this, but I love that it's full coverage. It's so inexpensive. And you know what? The drugstore has really been upping their game with their concealers. And I am very surprised that I didn't have the Maybelline Fit Me in here. I really do love it. But I think I was ready just to move on to something else just because I have gone through two of those and... I just wanted to try something new. So yeah, sometimes favorites change and I still love that concealer, but I don't have it on hand. And I know I really love a concealer when I have backups. And for most of all of these, I have a backup for these. So these would be my most repurchased and my ones that I have backups with. So yeah, love this concealer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I think we're going to do, go ahead and do my favorite high end the next time we get together. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. And I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, love you.